Hey guys, how's it going? Well, I told you I'd get my 7550s in, and sure enough, in they came. And I gotta tell you, they're not bad. These are in four, these cover the whole band split from 403 to 512. I don't know if they go all the way up to 520, I don't think they do. But you've got contacts zones they hold a thousand channels messages you can text message they've also got bluetooth which is really really nice and you can pick your devices you can attach it to an iphone there's a lot of different things you can do with this with this radio you can name it you can find the radio Bluetooth mic gain. Now there are some videos that are out on YouTube and if you're into 7550s I highly suggest that you watch those because what I'm telling you is just really uh, not too much. Uh, I don't know that much about these radios but what's nice about these is that the zones when you turn this knob the knob just keeps turning all the way it holds a thousand channels it doesn't have a lock on it got an emergency man down button uh, let me try and go through the specs I've got a couple of these and both of them are in pretty decent shape I'm thinking of rehousing them because I don't like scratches on the screen but both have Bluetooth enabled and uh, you know, I could just sell them like that. Best in class audio, day night mode. You can go into your, uh, you can select night mode, which turns it blue. Let's see here. Backlight, auto on. You can change the screens to different colors. It's, it's a color display, which is really, really nice. Uh, loud front facing speaker and intelligent audio uh, it automatically adjusts according to the environment that you're in uh, it's got the day night mode and that's on the 6550 and the 6580 and that the display is improved resolution for uh, easier viewing in broad daylight you can actually, it's got four modes of displays here. Uh, you go down to utilities to get to it. Uh, hang on here, back. There we go, bingo. Got six, six sets of tones and alerts. Six settings you can choose from, talk permit, Call ringers, keypad tones, volume offset, power up, call tones. Let's see here. Uh, what else can we do? Display has four settings. It's got a day and night mode. I want to switch it back to day mode. Hit day mode. You can go down to brightness. And you can adjust the brightness level. You can adjust the backlight timer. It's got a menu timer as well. You can set the languages, the mic, and intelligent audio, and your audio ambiance, and your audio profiles, and you can also have text entry. It's very, very nice. These radios communicate with each other, and uh, that's I'm glad they do. They programmed up right. They took right. Uh, you've got text messaging. Use text. You can use the uh, text messaging when discretion is required, or uh, routine communications needs to be delivered without interrupting workers or guests. You have IP Site Connect. 
That's a digital solution that uses the internet to extend voice and data capabilities of the Moto Turbo. Uh, you can link up to 15 sites for communication among geographically dispersed locations to create a wide area of coverage or enhance the coverage at a single site with a barrier. These are UHF and they'll go through uh, they'll go through a lot of obstructions uh, as opposed to their UHF. UHF will go through more obstructions than VHF will. Uh, let's see. They're uh, certified intrinsically safe as long as an intrinsically safe battery is used. Uh, basic or enhanced privacy, built-in scrambling for increased security. These DM, the DMR technology, when you're in digital, uh, it's encrypted. It's very good. You've got zones you can choose from. You can go into the zones. I'm going to go down to main, select main. You know, you can select anything you want on there, and I'm going to program these right. Uh, this is out of range uh, right now, so I'm going to go back. You can lock the keypad too, of course. Keypad locked, keypad unlocked. You've got a flexible RX list. You can turn it on, or view or edit the list. You can select your zones. You can open your messages, your text messages, and you've got call logs. Bluetooth, utilities, job tickets, notifications. And you've got a contacts list. And if I'm not covering this quite right, uh, keep in mind I'm standing and my knee's not, not back to normal by any means right yet. Let's go back up to fail safe. There we go. But you've got transmit interrupt, uh, which enables the user to interrupt another radio conversation to deliver critical communication exactly where and when it's needed. It's got a large full color display. It's a five line display with a flexible menu driven interface. Icons are large and easy to read. You know, when you transmit on these, you see the other one picking up. Backlight comes on, and you've got a power indicator. And uh, you've also got indications for Bluetooth, the icons up here. That's if your radio does have Bluetooth. I rated these uh, impressed batteries out. Uh, the ratings were over 20, 2100, I believe, or 2000 at least on them. Uh, They've got integrated high efficiency GPS. Uh, they've got, let's see here. I'm just going through the list. Uh, capacity Plus. Uh, I don't believe this one has Capacity Plus. It's got IP50, they're IP57 rated. Uh, tightly sealed against wind dust and submersible up to one meter of water for 30, 30 minutes. It's got the emergency man down button to send an alert if you need to, and uh, I believe it's, yeah, it's 5 watts, it's repeater capable, uh, estimated battery life on one of these is 17 hours in digital mode, 11.5 hours in analog mode, and uh, you've got a lithium ion battery, and uh, let's see here. You've got an option board, which is Bluetooth on these. Full color display. Uh, you can do MDC signaling. You've got private line. You've got permanent monitor, sticky monitor, which be right up here. Uh, let's see here. You've got lone worker. Uh, you've got GPS operation. You've got voice and channel announcement on these intelligent audio integrated bluetooth and integrated bluetooth data programmable buttons you can program these buttons for long and short press and that's very nice to have 
because it gives you one but you gives you two two options for each button and that's really nice to have and this particular model has three of them and then it's got two other buttons to where you can I think these are even programmable you can lock and unlock the keypad uh, it's got scanning uh, let's see what else it's got a phone book group call one-to-one -one calling missed call alerts uh, channel spacing 12.5 and 25 uh, number of channels is a thousand channels that's a lot on a 7350 and a 7380 it's 32 so these bad boys hold a thousand channels that's not bad uh, you've got caller ID you've got channel scan you've got call tones you've got call forward busy channel lockout integrated voice and data it's uh, the system type is conventional TDMA capacity plus and IP site connect uh, it's digital and analog uh, it's submersible it's factory mutual it's intrinsically safe the mill spec is 810C 810D 810E 810F and 810G it does have noise reduction software and like I said the, the uh, IP standards is IP57 uh, pretty good radios really but yeah these are gonna go on sale I don't know when I'm gonna let these go I'm waiting on brand new belt clips and I'm gonna order some side contact dust covers for them uh, but they come with really nice PMMN uh, 42 or 4042A mics which have the 3.5 millimeter adapter on them uh, come with really nice antennas UHF antennas and they're just all the way good radios these units have been used in an industrial environment so you know they could use a recase by the way if anybody knows how to rehouse one of these units let me know uh, because I haven't rehoused a 7550 before and when it comes to uh, working on a 7550 it's got it doesn't have the screws down here so I'm thinking it takes a moto tool but it might not but uh, if anybody knows or has had any experience in just rehousing one of these I know pretty much the way I have I've sold housing kits before for 7550s and people have done that no, oh, by the way, it does have the uh, receive. Let's see, I'll turn the radio on. That might help. It does have the receive up here when you're transmitting and receiving. It's got a nice intro intro screen. Tells when you're powering down and powering up. But that's really about all I know about these radios right now. I'm just glad I got them in. Oh yeah, and the volume, volume knob when they come on, uh, you know, you can actually see it, see the volume going up and down. Uh, like I said, there's a lot of videos on uh, YouTube on these 7550s. If you want to know more about them, I su highly suggest you check those out. But these do cover 403 all the way to 512. I don't know if they go to 520 or not. Not bad radios, not at all. And with over 2000 milliamp uh, in the batteries, I've, I've put them on my data reader and uh, I've, I've checked them, checked the serial numbers, everything's clean on them, they're good to go. I'll either sell these at some, you know, I don't know when, but I'm thinking of either rehousing them before I sell them or just selling them as they are because I mean actually they're really really good good radios and the rehouse kits are pretty expensive so not too shabby anyway guys I hope you're doing well uh, hope everything's going good that's all I got right now uh, if I get any more information on these if I decide to do anything Maybe I'll put up another video. I don't know. But anyway, that's the 
Moto Turbo 7550s. And like I said, check out YouTube. They've got some good information from users who use these radios and other features. Take it easy, guys. Later on.